bonus start to begin. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Super Bonus Round. We're back with more Borderlands 3 with Jad Peanut. Hey. And so we were just discussing how the other day the Borderlands, uh, every game but three are coming to the Switch next month. Yeah, that was a bit of a surprise. That actually was probably the coolest announcement all night, even though I was very happy that uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition finally has a release date. So that I can finish my stream of that game, because I got stuck on the original, and I was like, ah, fuck, they announced the remake anyway. And damn, what a remake that game's gonna be. Like, I, I can't even look at the Wii version anymore. Already, uh, so it looks like a oh, tapping through. I mean, I will grant it that for this time, the Wii version does look very good for a Wii game. But when you put that up against what Xenoblade Chronicles 2 looks like, now, <laughs> yeah. so so now the remake, like fully, like the art style and animation matches Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It's like it's like oh yes, remake Xenoblade Chronicles 1 with the look of 2, and then that's perfect. Because the and the animation and art style in Xenoblade 2 is. Gorgeous. I I, ha I own it. I got it for Christmas a couple years ago. I want to play it, but I want to play the first one first. Hello, fellow. Chuck here. Asking if you fancy a wee bit of binge. I can see the future. The Monado's the power. And in the future, we have a good buggering coming up. Fancy as Shag. Got the Fiora, fun trainer you can play with. This is all over, you fancy as Shag. Oh, God. Okay, so, uh, we were talking about Nintendo costumes and Borderlands. And yeah, the Borderlands started. Switch version should come with, like, Nintendo-themed costumes or something. Yeah, like you said, for the gun circuit, he should have, like, Mario overalls. Or Wario, since he's fat, since he's, like, not, well, not fat, but, like, bulky. Oh, yeah. And, uh, let's see. Sheik for zero. Oh, yeah, that'd be appropriate. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, Tingle costume for Claptrap. <laughs> that's, that's all he deserves. Yeah. <laughs> Or Pikachu if the Pokemon Company International is willing to play ball. Yeah. I thought they were owned by Nintendo. They they work with Nintendo, but since Pokemon became, I don't know, one of the highest selling IPs of all time, they had enough money to become their own uh, entity overall. Oh, wow. Yeah, that happened like not that, like over 10 years ago. That's what yeah. happened when four kids lost the license to Pokemon. They didn't, they, n n uh, the Pokemon Company International won in full control of the anime themselves and they took it back. Wow. Because they did have the money for it. Uh, that's just how big Pokemon is. Yeah, it's just like, uh, why don't we be in charge of the distribution of the anime? Hmm. I mean, why the hell not? That's what, that's what Marvel did. Like, Marvel did distribution of their properties back in the 90s and... Other studios took it, and they're like, ah, you know what, let's, why don't we do our own shit now? Time for and until they buy Spider-Man, they've pretty much got their entire IP library back. Yep. Uh, well, actually, they don't have the distribution rights for Hulk still. Universal still has those. All right, but... I don't know if there's going to be another Hulk, solo Hulk movie anytime soon. Because of Universal. Exactly. They only let Hulk be in uh, team-up movies, where he's not the main focus. Oh. You know, I noticed I hadn't... I hadn't died all last episode, but then again, we were on a very easy mission. Yeah, and these guys are not allowed to cover because they're they're, they're about they're about four or so episode uh, levels behind. At least four. Come on, burning. As am I, but I'm making I'm making the best of it. I am making the best of the on fire. 
Oh fuck you, your shield's back. Yeah, but also with uh, Disney being more relaxed with uh, co game companies re reimagining the IP, uh, I wonder what uh, other Marvel games you might get or Star Wars games. Um, well, EA has Star Wars' entire license, so other than these remasters of uh, older games, not much. Like, Episode yeah. 1 Pod Racer for the 64 is getting a, uh, a re release. Why? Which, uh, I don't know, but uh, Christine's hyped. Pop, this uh, is pod racing. I, I'll, I'll, I'll do that for next year's Valentine's Day. Ah, uh, she'd love that. As much as I want to do another rematch of the Goldeneye, probably the best Valentine's episode we ever did. <laughs> like, if you thought my girlfriend was nice and sweet and not competitive, you're wrong. <laughs> Especially in the game, she has a lot of experience with. And she felt way more confident because she was going against somebody who had never touched the game. Granted, I won every round. Sorry to spoil the episode. <laughs> oh, oh shit, you're dying. Oh, nine more. Oh yeah, and uh, I just remember some Borderlands related. This is gonna sound really stupid though. Yeah, may as well go for it. It's a sign of how much of a geek I am, cause... One, several months ago I had this weird dream that Atlas was teaming up with 2K to make a tactic spin-off called Sofa with Persona 5 and Borderlands. Well, that, would be, that would be fun. Yeah, like the Persona characters focus more on mobility and melee skills, while the Borderlands characters focus more heavily on guns. Persona 5, shooting all day. Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh yeah, and like Futaba's Alibaba icon would have been the cursor for moving the characters in combat. And Claptop had this passive skill where enemies are more likely to attack them because or at least Claptrap. Well, now that the Borderlands games are going to be on Switch, you know what that means, right? Oh, shit. There's a chance it could be in Ultimate. Uh, well, provided that they were in toss before. Because, like, when they announced the Fighter Pass 2, they said, well, the characters have already been decided. Oh, uh, yeah. So, um... Then, unfortunately, the coronavirus might be delaying the DLC. And, uh... Which actually, I think that the, the coronavirus already has delayed the DLC. Yeah, I think they already announced that it, there was going to be a delay. Yeah, I think we were supposed to find out who the ARMS character was uh, on Thursday. But, you know, negotiations and shit just threw everything th uh, into the fucking yeah. wind. So we're not going to find out till they're ready to come out in June. Yeah, that's going to be a while. They were, Yeah, they were probably were good. Honestly, they're probably gonna release like really soon too. Like have it right around when Joker came out last year. Still can't believe that's a thing that happened. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm actually surprised uh, that we even got a direct at all. I thought we were never gonna get one until like maybe June when th things blew over. But mm -hmm. what we did get announced was great. I mean, no, I, I sure. wasn't, wasn't, well, honestly, honestly, there were very hardly any announcements in, uh, uh, the Direct, but that's, you know what, I think that's totally fine considering everything that's going on. Mo most of what was in there was stuff we already knew about, like, the Isle of Armor stuff was largely just them repeating what we already know. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we, uh, no, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, we know was, is gonna, was coming. Just didn't know how soon. <laughs> Uh, well, obviously we're, we're, we were getting a new fighter, but like, honestly, I think if it's not Twin Tell, what they might be doing is they might be prepping for an ARM sequel, and whoever the protagonist in that is might be the, uh, uh, uh yeah, DLC that's character. why a lot of ARMS 2 is trending for a bit on Twitter. Because people think that they're secretly hyping up a, a sequel. I actually wouldn't mind that. Yeah, ARMS was a fun game. I actually really Definitely. enjoyed it. I just, you know, got rid of it because there was, like, nothing left to do and they were out there. And they already got an open tournament coming up. 
And uh, if you're if you have a switch, a switch online membership, you can uh, play the game for free for a, a few weeks. Like if that game went on sale, I'd, I'd get it again, because that, that, that actually was a fun time. And as much as I would love to have Min Min, I think for uh, diversity's sake, you really we really should have Twin Tail. Amen to that. Also, Twin Tail is a good character, and uh, I know no, she may, she's skirting the good boys and girls line with that ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's Which, a Nintendo character. Yeah, but... Even my Shiranui was too horny for Sakurai, and he put Bayonetta in. I can imagine they turn her down like they did with Bayonetta. Yeah, but she's like she's like 80% skin. Like I I think under that uh, Chinese or uh, uh, Asian uh, getup she's wearing, she's not wearing anything else. <laughs> I'm pretty damn sure that's the case, which is why she wasn't picked. Okay, it's a drunk monk again. Drunk monk. <laughs> Pretty sure that might be a shower beer somewhere in some craft brewery. Or an episode title. True that. Who is that speaking, buddy? Is that your grandpa? I shall not go when he heard dad's voice. Like, what's this? Someone else for me to annoy? <laughs> yeah, he's been glued to the windows, but so far I haven't heard him making that sound you reference. Well, yeah, that, that's what they do when they, they want to mimic their prey to get them to come closer and then, uh, <laughs> then pounce. That's why they do that. So far, he just does whiny meows. He's a whiny boy. Oh shit. Out of ammo? Anybody counting? Ooh. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh. About yeah, that. Yeah, I forgot those eggs will spawn more if you don't destroy them. We don't throw them away, so you can have them. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Uh, you ever saw this one anime OVA called The Ringing Bell? No. Uh, uh, oh, hang on, kids. Pretty much a shock, a shock cartoon for children. Oh. You have given me much to ponder, Volta. That might be why I've never seen it. Salut. Yeah. When you see it, it looks like it starts out as some kind of little kid's cartoon, but it takes an incredibly dark turn about 10 minutes in. Hmm. That reminds me, have you seen an anime called Ghost Stories? Uh, no. What's that? Oh. Apparently, it's this really generic, not very interesting an uh, uh, anime about uh, um, paranormal uh, investigations, uh, about, about a bunch of kids uh, uh, inspecting, like, mysteries about ghosts and stuff like that. But the anime is so fucking boring and uninteresting, uh, whoever took the dub ran with it and made it not what that show is supposed to be at all. <laughs> what? Yo, they, so? they, 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 tur they turned it into, like, a South Park, like, comedy. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, some of the humor has not aged very well. No, but for the most no. for the most part, 
for the most part, it's hysterical. They made that show funnier than it had any right to be. Uh, we, there's another mission here. I'm not expecting that. I, I, oh, I thought okay, it no. was, but... Like, you was going to say something, like, it became incredibly... Like, it starts out boring, but it soon becomes incredibly dark and gory or something. No. Nope. I was not expecting that. Nope, they, they took a seemingly harmless uh, paranormal investigation in MA about kids sol solving ghost mysteries in Japan to uh, South Park. Oh, shit. Where the kids are mouthy and rude to one another, and, and they just say horrible shit. I'll find wow. a clip to show you, and then uh, maybe one day we'll watch some of it, because I never I never got around to finishing it. A uh, lot of early 2000s humor just doesn't hold up. Not, well, like, m most of it's really funny, but like they, they turn this one this this one girl who's like the who's like the generic uh, uh, Mary Sue. They turn her into a uh, like a, an evangelical Republican. <laughs> yeah, I I try to remember one of the quotes that she that she said, but uh, yeah, I I don't remember them, but I remember that that that's that what that what they made her character. So far, everything you told about the, me about this anime is nothing like I was expecting you to say. Yeah, it, and it's all because of the dub. The, this is entirely the dub. The, the actual show is nothing like this at all. Like, they, they took a very boring property and they ran with it. Alright, real quick, I want to go through my... Inventory. Man, where are we getting that fourth slot, though? Support local business. Sell to Marcus. Everyone has their price. Grenade mod. No noom grenade mod? Oh, there he is. Well, I'm ready whenever you are. Yeah, I'm ready too. Uh, let's get back to the sanctuary and start the story again. Mm hmm. Allies and menu. Oh, oh shit, sorry, sorry. There we go. But yeah, they, um, they turned that show into something it is not at all. <laughs> oh, it's Sora's birthday, because it's the 18th anniversary of Kingdom Hearts. Oh, oh shit. Happy birthday, Sora, wherever the fuck you are. <laughs> uh, I was so pissed at that cliffhanger ending. Well, you, you might get some more answers out of the DLC. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to do a DLC instead of a remix thing. Yeah, instead of making you buy the game again. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we now we have to head to the Atlas HQ entrance. Mm-hmm. That is. Buddy, just sleep, Back on Prometheus. Sleeping on the. Oh. Buddy says sleeping on the lounge chair now. You think you're the master of the house? Hmm? What do you mean think? Ah. <laughs> I, I love giving a personality to this asshole cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a spoiled boy. Are you in a menu? Because it's not letting me travel. No, I'm not. I'm hmm. not. Interesting. That's you. Let's 
see, the mission's there. So. There we go. For no reason it wasn't working. That's weird. Back to Meridian we go. The Meridian Complex. Meridian Metro Complex. But I think we're all wrong. It's the Meridian Metroplex. Mm -hmm. oh. So I, I need to look at like how many uh, chapters we actually have left in this story. Mm -hmm. We're on chapter 8 now, I think, or we're on 9. We must have just reached 9. While it's loading, I may as well run. <laughs> so let me pause and find out. And while you do that, I'm gonna take a piss. Actually, uh, we could probably end the episode now if we wanted to. Go, we could end it. Yeah, well, since you have to take a bathroom break, uh, next time on the Super Bonus Rounds, we're gonna go and, uh, continue the story and uh, take Reese's uh, key from him. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>